Okay, front head offense. Anytime we get a guy in a snap down, a real good op option is right off. As soon as you get his head down and get a lock, you go right into a, uh, I guess it would be a tilt situation. I don't like necessarily like rolling a guy through here, even though if you pop it good, you can. So Scotty's going to do a crossover snap or a semi-modified crossover snap. Okay, he's going to snap it across. Okay, now, once you have him here, now you're switching your lock now or what? You're going to be going the other way. This is what you show. Okay, so when you snap a guy down and cross over snap, now you keep try to put your elbow inside your hip pocket. You're going to step over this way, Scotty, and do it. Step in, drive, sag, come back out on top. Okay, one more time. So as soon as I snap him down, I want to get my hand across his chin, cross over snap. Step over here, keep my elbow tight. That's all it is. All right. Now, we'll start down on the mat. Get a front head. I don't like, reach, I don't like reaching across and grabbing his tricep. Okay, I don't like doing that. Even a lot of people lock there. Okay, this guy, let's show the two rolls from there. Um, Dennis all showed rolling, rolling towards the arm, so Scotty gets a lock. Wait, so can you pause for a second? He's going to pull that guy's arm straight, and he's going to drop his ear right against the guy's pit. He's going to drive in a little bit, and then you can roll through. Okay, go back again. Move a little farther away. Okay, so if you get this guy's arm extended, and you can get your ear basically down in there, okay, so he gets his hands locked. Okay, I don't necessarily want to grab his elbow, but I'm going to extend, extend his arm. His arm won't be on the ground. You drop your head down in there, then you can roll towards the arm. Just step through hard. Go ahead. Now, I like to roll away from the arm, or away from the post, same exact lock, same exact lock, okay, but I'm going to take a hard step into him, drive my shoulder, knee, and arch through, go ahead and pop and go through if you want. I like to just tilt, because then they don't have to worry about his arms being free. And always finish on top. Start in the middle again. If you get really good with this and aggressive, you just drive into him. He should fold right up. As soon as you get it, start driving into him. If his head comes up, you got him. Okay, and roll through. Do the same thing except go towards the arm. Maybe give him a little pull first to get his arm extended. You know what I'm talking about? So he gets a good lock, pulls a little bit. Right now, go. Okay. Good enough. Let's go ahead in the pocket. We'll do that twice and then go uh, chase the hip. You guys keep moving around on me. All right, so we're going to go ahead in the pocket. So what I like to do is always pull the guy's elbow and circle a little bit. If his arm is long, I'm going to make my head disappear. Okay, show the scissors step. He drops and drives his hip under and reaches for the hip. Obviously in freestyle, we can chase the ankle. Greco, we're chasing the hip. Fight him a little bit, Wyatt, so he has to show how he drops that. He does a scissor step. Drops, head in the pocket, scissor step. Go behind. Always get behind the elbows. Look for the gut right away. Try to use his momentum by diving down to the mat to get your gut right away. Let's go pocket, pocket, run, run, shuck. So Scotty's going to drop, pull. He's going to start to run. Wyatt's going to spin. Hopefully he stays on his knees. Go again, why don't bail out. We are not going to do them where he drops the hip. You already did it. Run and run, 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 run. You post up and shuck. Go behind the elbow. Not going to get that one often. This time I want you to do is I want you to shuck him. Why keep your arms wide. He hits your leg, Scotty, and go right into a front headlock roll or head in the pocket. You know what I'm talking about? So make it a series. So Scotty's going to put his head in the pocket. Run, run, run. He's going to try to shuck. Why it stiffens up. Goes right back down to there. Or he goes right back down in the head in the pocket. So go head in the pocket, shuck, head in the pocket. When the guy stiffens up, it means he brings his head up a little higher, so he should be able to let you bury your head more. Scotty's trying to get his head in the pocket, runs, shuck, drops the head in the pocket, chases the hip, and scores. Uh, let's do that wrist post. Another option, you get a guy that's pretty tough, he keeps his weight back and down, and he's kind of keeping his hands wide. You can just get a good front head on his chin and bring your hand right down onto his wrist. 
okay? And then just sneak your elbows behind and go, uh, go behind. Show it on the other side as well. Okay? So you're just, you're wrestling, you're trying to get head in the pocket, you're doing all the kind of stuff you can. You can't, all of a sudden you just go down on his wrist, sneak your hand behind, and then you go behind. So we just call that a post. Okay. And the last thing that you can, well, there's plenty of other things you can do, but right now we'll go double cups. So you're trying to get a front head, you're moving in there, trying to get your head in the pocket, you've tried shucking, not a lot working, so you just bring both hands up in his armpits. Okay, so right now, Scotty, turn so we can see it, go all the way around the circle. Just keep your hands on him. Keep circling. So you can see Scotty's got double cup instead of a, switch to the front head, Scotty, where the chin is. Instead of being there and getting a low shoulder, we're going to go double cup. All right, so Scotty's going to move, shake, all the kind of stuff, then all of a sudden he just sneaks hands behind. Okay, the bottom guy usually tries to crawl and move, and you keep pulling so his butt comes up, okay, and he starts extending his hands. If the guy doesn't come forward, like Scotty's got him right there, just push into him really hard. And when he, if, don't fold up wide, just push back. And when he, fold him up, let him fold you up, and I'll push back. Then you sneak your hands behind. Okay, so that's some options off the front head.